What's going on guys? My name's Ghosty and welcome to my gauntlet guide where I explain how they function and different ways to utilize them in game. The six gauntlets currently available in Spellbreak are designed around different elements and you can have a different gauntlet equipped on each hand and combine most elements for different interactions. Each gauntlet has a unique playstyle which can be compared to other guns in typical shooters. The gauntlets have both a primary spell which consumes mana on each cast and a sorcery spell which only has a cooldown. As you upgrade your gauntlet in-game to higher rarities, the damage is increased and mana costs are reduced. It is important to remember that your sorcery is the same damage and cooldown no matter the rarity of the gauntlet. The fire gauntlet can be compared to a mini rocket launcher or grenade launcher and focuses on medium range area of effect damage with high prediction for direct shots. The primary spell, Fireball, is a large projectile that can reach long distances but is very slow. It has a decent cast speed and allows you to spam your shots to just go for AoE damage or you can pace yourself to predict and hit direct shots which do full damage while the explosion radius of the fireball does reduce damage. If your fireball hits the ground, it will leave behind a puddle of fire which damages opponents or can even be used to hide behind from someone trying to frost snipe you. The sorcery firewall lays out a firewall perpendicular to your character which damages and ignites opponents. It can also be used as defensive utility to block frost shots and toxic shots, but be extra careful if they're running stone or throw toxic cloud through it. The frost gauntlet can be compared to a sniper rifle and focuses on long range precision shooting with high damage. The primary spell, Ice Lance, is a small projectile that reaches long distances suitable for sniping. You can hold the button to charge your shot, increasing the projectile speed and damage. The act of charging the spell is audible to other players, so they have time to react and get behind cover before being sniped, so accuracy and taking quick shots is key in securing the hit. The Sorcery Flash Freeze is a shell of ice surrounding you which slows opponents inside of it and freezes them after 1.5 seconds. The shell also blocks fire, wind, and lightning projectiles to keep you safe. Flash Freeze is amazing utility for a long range gauntlet as it gives you the option to use it defensively and make your escape once your opponent has been frozen or even go for a very easy shot. Do know that it takes longer to charge the ice shot than the amount of time to freeze so be wary of that and make sure that you line up the shot in time. The Toxic Gauntlet can be compared to a shotgun and focuses on close range combat and can also be used to poke your opponents from distance with minimal effect. The primary spell, Toxic Spray, shoots multiple streams of toxic which deals damage based on the amount of projectiles hit. Any toxic damage to an opponent also applies Corrosion, which deals damage over time to armor only. It has a relatively fast cast speed, but you want to focus on hitting close targets to land as many projectiles as possible for maximum damage. Toxic Gauntlet does have some long range uses to try and spray your opponents to land and hit and get easy applications of Corrosion. It can be used effectively to soften up your opponents to finish them off easier when in close range for a big hit. The Sorcery, Toxic Cloud, is a projectile which you can throw and expands into a cloud on impact with terrain. The cloud damages players, which also applies Corrosion, and is very effective to use for elemental interactions or even to use as momentary cover from incoming shots. The Stone Gauntlet has no gun it can be compared to. It focuses on close to medium range with heavy upfront damage to quickly take out your opponents. The primary spell Shockwave causes a fast moving eruption along the ground dealing damage to opponents. You must remain grounded in order for the spell to cast and the eruption will travel easily down slopes but not very well going upwards, so height advantage around slopes is key. The gauntlet can be easily countered by staying on different terrain levels, but once you catch your opponent on the same level, the damage can be detrimental to them. The sorcery, Boulderfall, throws a boulder which explodes on impact, dealing damage based on airtime and the opponent's proximity to the center of the explosion. Boulderfall is a great tool for stone gauntlet as it can allow you to hit people in the air or different levels of terrain if you don't want to use your offhand gauntlet. It also works as your own wall to block shots from potentially hitting you. Another great offensive way to use it is by throwing your boulder while engaging into a fight and timing your shockwave so that the moment your boulder lands on the opponent, you hit them with a shockwave for a massive amount of damage which forces that player to run away or just takes them out of the fight. The lightning gauntlet can be compared to an assault rifle and focuses on medium to long range combat with consistent damage to whittle down your opponents. The primary spell, Lightning Bolt, rapidly fires lightning bolts at your opponents and the attack button can be held down for automatic fire for continuous damage. 
The Lightning Gauntlet is a great weapon to use if you're new to projectile shooters as it has the highest projectile speed currently available in Spellbreak. In order to use it most effectively for the most amount of damage, you must continuously shoot similar to rifles in other games. This does leave you vulnerable as your movement is limited while casting, so be aware of your surroundings for any incoming attacks. The Sorcery, Lightning Strike, summons lightning which damages and shocks opponents. Shock prevents players from casting spells, sorceries, and runes. Lightning Strike is a great tool to use before fully engaging with your lightning bolts as it will prevent your opponents from reacting due to their shock status. It can also be used to provide you with some breathing room while trying to escape as they don't have access to their rune for a couple seconds while you do. The Wing Gauntlet can be compared to an SMG and focuses on close to mid-range damage. The primary spell, Wind Shear, rapidly shoots gusts of winds with a very high cast speed to quickly finish off your opponents and can be used for defensive utility with its interactions. Due to its limited range, it is primarily used for its utility of deflecting opponents' attacks or cleaning up the battlefield of elements. The Sorcery, Tornado, places a large tornado which pulls your opponents towards the center. The pull effect is highly increased if they're airborne. Tornado is a fantastic tool for utility and zoning and is great to use for applying elemental interactions. Do also be wary of your own natos as the pull will also affect you so you want to ensure you're at a safe distance before placing your tornado. With this gauntlet guide, you'll be ready to have a full understanding of which one may suit your style the most. Stay tuned for more guides and videos to expand your knowledge of the world that is Spellbreak. This is Ghosty, don't forget to like and subscribe, and you can also follow me on Twitch and Twitter for gameplay and updates. If you have a favorite gauntlet or one that interests you the most, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the Hololands.